Hi guys, it's Lindsay here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home and this time it's a modern style farmhouse family home and I'm building it here in Brindleton Bay. Recently I built a modern style farmhouse on my CC channel. I got a lot of requests to do a modern style farmhouse. And once I released that one, a lot of you guys were saying that you would like to see a CC free version as well, because I guess there's a lot of like CC modern style farmhouses on YouTube, but not a lot of CC free ones as you guys were saying. So yeah, I thought it would definitely be a fun build to do. And like I was saying in that video, it's not like a style that I really like that much in real life. So I really don't look at inspiration images that much on like Pinterest or really try to build anything like this in game. I've definitely built farms before, but I try to give them more of like a traditional sort of like cozy country cottage feel. And so this was definitely something different. And honestly, I don't think we have a lot of great items in the game for this. I think I did pretty good for like the items that we do have, especially using all of the packs was pretty necessary in my opinion. But I found when like trying to find wall art or like wall decor, we really don't have great items for this style. I mean, maybe I was missing something or maybe something could have been used in a different way and I just didn't realize it. Um, but something that I thought of that I thought was pretty clever, you guys will have to let me know if you agree, but there's this metal wheel that you can find in the live edit objects from Cottage Living and I sized it down a couple of times and then like raised it up and made it look like it was hanging on the wall and I thought this was like a great substitute for like some of those maybe like wheel decorations you might see in a modern farmhouse or like, you know, those big wooden stars or metal stars that people put on the front of their houses or even in their houses as well. Um, I thought it was kind of a great substitute for an item like that. So you'll see that several different times on the interior, but I thought it looked so good. So I couldn't help myself but to use it several different times because really like, especially when it came to paintings, we, we don't really have many that I wanted to use for this build. So I don't know. I really feel like when it comes to like artwork in the game, that's where I struggle the most. I really need to utilize the gallery because I know there's some really good like sort of CC free artwork that people have put onto the gallery. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to browse that. I've gotten a lot of suggestions for things to find for certain builds. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, but yeah, for the actual house itself, I was looking at Pinterest as I always do. And I found some plans of a modern style. I think it was like a farmhouse. I don't know. It just kind of looked like it would be perfect for this sort of build. And so I was looking at it. I'll put it up on screen so you guys can see. Uh, but basically I wasn't trying to follow it exactly. I just liked the layout of like the porch area and some of the rooms in the interior so I was kind of building like the porch area and then making sure the location of the living room was go was going to be where I wanted it to be because sometimes when I wait to do the floor plan things don't really work out the way I imagined like maybe the size of a space isn't like enough room for a particular room that I want to use it for or the like layout doesn't really make sense that way. So I was trying to make the layout make sense and I think it actually worked out so nicely because I love the location of the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. I think it just kind of all flows so nicely together. And then there's like this extra room at the front of the build that's like a skill building sort of like, uh, casual room. I put a fish tank in there and a computer basically. Um, but that room could be easily turned into like another sort of skill building room or something like that. Um, or another bathroom if you find it necessary, but there is a bathroom downstairs. There's also a really big laundry room, which I think is so necessary for a modern farmhouse. And I think it just looks so good. So yeah, hopefully you guys will like the way that looks. And then there's several different bedrooms up on the second floor. That's where all of the bedrooms are. Um, so there's the parents bedroom. There is a room for a child sim, a toddler. And then what I was thinking for the other one is I guess they're a teenager, but I was thinking more of like a preteen. Like they're a very young teenager. Like they just aged up to be a teenager. <laughs> Cause I really didn't, I don't know when I was picking out the decorations, like I was trying to give it more of like a youthful sort of like child vibe. But when I was thinking of the personality, I was thinking that maybe they're a little bit older. So I know we don't have preteens in game. And once a Sim ages up from a child to a teenager, they basically look like an adult. I wish that it was like there was some more middle ground because I feel like it just looks like they just jump in age so much. And it kind of bothers me sometimes. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree. But um, 
Yeah, here on the back of the build, I wanted to have another porch. I also think that's something that's very important for a modern style farmhouse. And then something that I did in the CC one is I put a little seating area at the back with an outdoor fireplace. And so I wanted to recreate that in this build too, because I thought it was kind of like a nice sort of um, hangout spot for your Sims. And I thought it looked pretty. And I think it kind of just works for the style too. Um, and then there's also a barn slash garage it's sort of like a hybrid between a barn and a garage and i thought this area just ended up looking so good i love the decorations that i put in there i feel like it just has like a very like full look when i was decorating it i feel like it's just it has so much stuff in it and i was really kind of worried that with a modern style i wouldn't be able to make the garage feel as like fully decorated but i think i don't know i think it works so you guys have to let me know and then other than that i really just wanted to add like a lot of extra activities so there's a swimming pool there's a swing set there's a sand area a toddler slide there's a greenhouse a couple of cows uh chickens of course this one i was thinking is more of like a hobby farm whereas the cc one i was thinking was more of like a fully functioning like farm but i don't know once i like completed this build i think this could be like a self-sustaining farm too because i was thinking more of just like they would have like two chickens one cow but then i add two cows and then they have like a whole chicken house full of chickens and it just felt really like full and lively so i definitely think maybe the sims could make enough money to support themselves by just running the farm i don't know i'm pretty sure you can because if I remember correctly from when I used to play, you actually make a lot of money from like gardening and stuff. So probably even just harvesting stuff out of the greenhouse might be enough <laughs> for your Sims to um, support themselves. But maybe they have a job. I don't know. I really didn't think that much about what the parents might do outside of the home. I definitely think taking care of all these animals and stuff would be a full-time job because even when I'm just playtesting builds like this and if I buy chickens and cows like right away and I'm trying to like plant the garden and stuff like that like you know the animals are threatening to leave they're <laughs> they're they're dirty their houses are dirty they have no food and i'm just like it's things get out of control very quickly <laughs> so i think it would be a full-time job but um anyways the house is pretty much all put together like the shape of it and stuff i really love the garage sort of barn when i was looking at inspiration images a lot of the garages and barns seem to be like attached to the homes not always of course barns are typically separated but i saw a lot where they're kind of connected to the house and so i thought that was a great sort of like look and a really great opportunity to put the laundry room in between them and so i just thought that worked out so perfectly for the floor plan because it's kind of like a mud room which i think is definitely necessary for a build like this because if you're out you know and you're you're dirty from working in the garden or even though there's no garden there's just the greenhouse i wish i would have had space for a garden that would have been perfect but uh you could probably squeeze one in somewhere if you really wanted to but uh you know you're out taking care of the chickens or taking care of the cows and your boots are all muddy you could just walk into the laundry room take them off take off your dirty clothes and well there's no shower in there but you could probably put in like a little bathroom if you wanted your sims to uh, get completely cleaned up but I imagine they could at least take off their boots and take off their like dirty coat or something and then they could walk over to the bathroom and take a shower <laughs> but uh I don't know I really like those extra details and I also really like this little porch area where I put those rocking chairs I thought that was just like the cutest thing ever like those rocking chairs were perfect to put right there I just thought that was so adorable and then something else that I really wanted to make sure I was going to include was an open staircase and so when I was working out the floor plan as I was building the exterior I definitely made sure that I had the room to do that and I think it just turned out so nice and I think that's just something not only nice in modern farmhouses but also just like suburban homes so whenever I can do it I always try to because I think it just looks really good um I also want there to be a couple of cars in the driveway and I'm using the um terrain manipulation to raise up the driveway basically so uh, the doors on the barn were kind of flush with the ground and they weren't like hovering or looking weird at all and so I thought this turned out pretty nice and then for the pathways I just used this concrete terrain paint that I think we got from Eco Lifestyle and I thought that looked really good um, just like leading to like their front porch area and the side porch and just kind of 
um, yeah, I think it worked out nicely basically for the front of the build. And I also really liked this fence. For the one that I did on my CC channel, I used the fence that, that came with cats and dogs. And so that would of course work perfectly in this world because this world came with cats and dogs. But I wanted to do something that was different. And I think the fence, I think it's a base game fence. It might actually be get to work, but anyways, I thought it worked perfect for this style and it looked super modern but still very farmhouse so I was really pleased about that um, and then here I'm just planning out where everything is going to go on the exterior and I really wanted to have a spot for the chickens and so I made this little like chicken area here next to the barn I end up moving the whole lot over one more time just to make a little bit more room for them so it wasn't so cramped over here and I think this area just turned out to be so just cute and it's probably my favorite spot in the build like I really enjoyed decorating it and taking the screenshots over here but something that I noticed chickens can just walk through doors I thought that they would stay in that area so you might want to lock the door leading out to that area because the chickens will just go into the barn which I don't mind I think they can go into the barn but then they go into the house and then they go into the porch and they're just like everywhere which is not a big deal but I think to keep it a little bit more realistic you might want them to stay there and that was kind of my whole point of putting the chicken coop over there was basically so they would stay there and so I thought it was kind of funny that they they just didn't at all um and then over here is the greenhouse i'm doing the same thing that i did in the cc home that i did where i'm using the roof to create a greenhouse and i think this is the most realistic look for like a greenhouse i mean the ones where you use walls and stuff look pretty realistic because there's definitely plenty of greenhouses that are more of like that solid sort of room structure but a lot of them are you know rounded like this and so the roofs are a great way to achieve the look but something that i've noticed when play testing these and i've definitely gotten comments before um, when i've built this that they don't work when you put the planter boxes in there and then you try to plant inside of the greenhouses like the sims just don't have enough room or i don't know if the sims don't have enough room or the plants don't have enough room but something doesn't work so what i did was i took all of the planter boxes outside of the greenhouse and then i had my sim plant them and then i moved them back into the greenhouse so if you download this from the gallery all of the plants will be planted in the planters, but if you wanna like change the plants, like delete them and then plant something else that you wanna grow, then you'll want to take them out and then have your sim plant it and then place it back. Cause once they're planted in, in these greenhouses, then your sims can interact with them and water them and harvest them. It's just the whole planting thing doesn't work. And I don't know why. I, I, yeah, I haven't quite figured it out. So um, the best solution I have found is just to take the planter boxes out, plant them, and then put them back. And then it all works fine. So hopefully that's not too big of a hassle if you guys do want to change the plants. But they all have plants in them. And I just did a variety of flowers and berries. And I think that's it. I was going to do vegetables because that just felt appropriate for a farm. But I don't know. I just... I don't know I didn't think it was too necessary but there's definitely room on like the side yard or you could probably even take a tiny little portion of the chicken area and create like a little vegetable garden if you really wanted to I think there's definitely room or really the swimming pool is totally not necessary you could have like a big garden here at the back um over here I really struggled getting a staircase I cut out a big portion of this because I messed with this for such a long time um, but thankfully I got it to work because I really wanted to have some like staircases or a staircase leading up to the greenhouse. And I didn't want just like a sloping sort of yard. I thought that would look a little bit awkward and I wanted it to feel a little bit more like they had purposely planned it this way and that things weren't just kind of stuck in random places. <laughs> I wanted it to look more purposeful. So I think I achieved that. And then I also added this tree that came from Cats and Dogs, this one with the white flowers. I think I also added one in the front yard, just a different swatch, but I thought this one looked so pretty right here. like with the shade and like the way the shadows were and the lighting and the colors of the petals and stuff. I just thought it was such a pretty spot for that tree. Um, over here, I wanted to have like one of those modern sort of like built-in barbecue areas. If you guys know what I mean, sometimes you see these in more of these like modern style houses. I think even in like country homes too. So um, I thought this would be a perfect spot to do that. So I just used a half wall and then the uh, barbecue encounters that came from, uh, I believe Perfect Patio, I think is the pack it came with, but 
Anyways, I thought this was like the perfect barbecue spot. And then there's a couple of lounge chairs. There's also the swing set and then this toddler slide. And I was going to make a sandbox. I've done quite a few of these recently, but I decided to do just like a general sand area and a little pathway leading to it. And I placed this pathway originally, and you guys will notice at the very end of the build that all of the terrain paint, except for the terrain that I have up until this point, disappeared. I don't know what is happening, but every single build I do, it deletes half of the terrain. So at some point, the game decides that that's the terrain paint it's gonna have, and then it deletes it afterwards, and then I have to go through and redo it. And you guys keep telling me just to save my builds so I can place them when this happens, and I never do it. I don't know when I'm going to learn my lesson, but it's like literally every single build recently, this keeps happening. So it's so frustrating and yeah, I need to take your guys' advice. But anyways, thankfully the terrain paint wasn't super complicated. I think I was able to redo it for the most part, but I really love this area. I think it's such a cute little spot for the kids to hang out. And honestly, if you wanted to get rid of it, even though I wouldn't suggest it, but maybe you don't like these items or don't have them or whatever the case may be, this would be a good spot to put a garden, I think. Um, that was definitely something that I would have liked to include because I just think that is such a necessary part of a farm, but I just, I really didn't have the space for it, I don't think. I felt like if I was going to like put it anywhere, it would have just felt just like maybe, um, just kind of cramped, I guess, or just like it didn't belong, like I was just kind of forcing it basically. Um, so that's why I didn't do it. But anyways, here I'm just working on the landscaping. For the landscaping, I used a lot of greenery and then white flowers. I think white flowers, still make it feel like it's fully landscaped, but it somehow feels like cleaner and more modern to have white flowers. So that's why I went with that. I also used these bushes that I think are actually bathrooms. <laughs> and so I placed a few of them around. They might bother you during gameplay, so maybe you'll wanna replace them, but I just thought they looked really good. And I liked the purple flowers and it kind of just brought in a little bit more color with all of the white flowers. And I don't know, I just really liked them. And then maybe, you know, if the Sims are just outside and they can't be bothered to walk all the way in the house, they could just go to the bathroom in the bush and then it'll be taken care of. So I thought that was kind of a funny idea. Um, over here is where I have the little corral for the cows. And so right now you'll see in the build that I only place one of them. But when I was taking the screenshots, I just felt like one cow just looked so sad in here. So I placed two of them. And all I did was I sized down the animal shed that came from Cottage Living and I used the tool mod to size it down like pretty small. I even end up like sizing it down smaller than I have it right now. And then I just kind of hide it in the grass that I place in this corral area. So you can still see it, you can still click on it and everything functions. I did play test it. You can just click on the little shed. You just have to look in the grass to find it and you can still clean it. You could still refill the animal's food and then you can still interact with the cows completely. You can, or llamas too, if you wanted llamas instead of cows, but you can clean them, you can feed them, you can you know talk to them and socialize with them and whatever other interactions I'm sure are possible. Um, everything works and then when they go to sleep, they just kind of disappear <laughs> and there's disease floating in the air, but um, yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but of course, if it bothers you, you could just size them back up and place an animal shed in here and it would fit and it would work. I just think the style of them doesn't really work for this particular build. And of course there's like other tricks and stuff you could do if you wanted to build a different style animal shed, but I just didn't think that was necessary for this particular build. So yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like the couch just being in the corral basically and not really needing anywhere to go sleep into because it doesn't really bother me too much but um yeah over here is that chicken area and like i said i just really enjoyed decorating this area i think it's so cute and i think just taking screenshots in here was really nice and i just like the way it looks so much oh and then i found these really cool barrels they're in the live edit objects from the high school years expansion pack and i thought they were so perfect for this build i wish that there would have been maybe like more swatches, like if there would have been a whitewashed one, that would have been so perfect. But these ones were perfect anyways, even though they weren't like the exact color I would have wanted just because they look so country and like so rustic and 
still like clean and kind of modern looking so i put some lavender in there and i thought that was really nice and then here i'm continuing with the landscaping on the front of the house just kind of doing the same thing that i did at the back of the build using the same plants and flowers and just trying to make them look nice basically and trying to place them in a way that i think looks manicured but still kind of natural and organic looking so somewhere in between because i think this sort of build need somewhere in between i don't know you guys can let me know if i achieved that but i think i did and then another thing that i did here in the front of the build that i just absolutely adore i did it recently in another build but i used the tire that you can find in the live edit objects and then i rotated it and i raised it up using the tool mod and then i used a couple of sticks that you can find from the toddler stuff pack and i tried to make it look like it was hanging from the tree so it's like a tire swing of course it doesn't actually swing because there's no animation <laughs> that I could apply to it, unfortunately. That would be so cool if I could. But um, what I did was I used a little poof that you can find from, uh, I think it was from high school years, and I used it in the black swatch and I just sized it down and I raised it up and I just merged it into the tire and your sims will actually just kind of like jump up into the air and sit on it so if you wanted to take screenshots of like your children's sims sitting there or your adult sims or whoever then it would definitely be a good opportunity to do that but like i said unfortunately it doesn't function as a swing but it does function as a seat so for me that makes me happy and i think it looks so cute but um yeah anyways over here i'm moving on to the greenhouse so for the greenhouse i basically just wanted to include the flower arranging table just to give your sims something else to do in here there's also a little bench and a lot of plants and a lot of planter boxes and like i said i did have my sim go through and make sure that all of the planter boxes were fully planted so there's flowers and berries because i thought it would be nice for you know whichever sim wanted to in this house they could do some flower arranging they could maybe make some jams and jellies and bake with the berries and stuff i thought that would be pretty nice and so yeah i just think this area looks so cute i especially like how i took that big hanging plant display that we got from the blooming rooms kit and i raised it up and scaled it down and then i merged it into that box window i thought that looked pretty cool and some of you guys on patreon also thought that that was kind of like a nice trick so i appreciate it i really appreciate you guys going over there and um basically supporting me over there i really really appreciate it it's been super awesome and i'm very happy to have my patreon back up so if you guys are interested i do have um, a couple of tiers i have tier one which is a dollar a month and it's just a donation tier and then i have a two dollar tier where I am sharing like works in progress. Also the tray files to my builds early. So before they go up on the gallery, if you guys want to play with them early, then you can. Um, I'm also starting to share my speed builds early. So far it's only been builds on my CC channel, but I'm working to also share the speed builds on this channel over there early as well. I just need to get a little bit ahead on my videos and right now I am not ahead at all but i'm working very hard and trying to um, get ahead so i can start sharing them early so yeah um, i will have a link in the end card if you guys are interested in that but anyways here i am decorating the porch area i absolutely loved this dining area i thought the combination of these wicker uh, chairs in the white color with that wooden table that I think came from cats and dogs I'm pretty sure it did but I just thought they looked so nice together like the combination was just really perfect for me and then over here I put a couple of benches just like a nice little seating area and I really tried to keep the decorations pretty minimal like I didn't want it to feel like cluttery or messy I mean I think the interior is definitely fully decorated but I was trying to hold back on some of those extra clutter items that I think would make the build feel messy because I just don't think that's, you know, the right sort of way to decorate a home like this. But it definitely has some more cluttered items, like, or at least cluttered areas. Like, I put these shelves here in the kitchen, and I put lots of decorations on it, and I think it looks so perfect. Like, having open shelves in a home like this, I think just suits it so nicely and makes it feel so realistic. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm starting off by decorating this kitchen first. For the counters and cabinets, I'm using these ones that came from the Jungle Adventures game pack. And I thought just the color of them with the like brown handles and then the white wood just kind of worked so nicely for um, a modern style farmhouse. And then I just hung up some wine bottles. Um, I also have an island where I put the sink and then I hung up these 
are this pots and pans decoration that we have from base game and I thought the copper pots were so perfect for this style and just like the contrast and colors for me I just thought was really pretty so yeah, I thought that worked out really nicely. And then other than that, I'm just trying to find things that your Sims might wanna use in the kitchen. So microwave, a coffee pot, and then some like clutter items. And I did play test the kitchen, at least the stove uh, works, cause I did place a, a, a pot on top of it. And I've done this a couple of different times and every once in a while I'll place it in a way that doesn't make it functional. So I always try to remember to play test it. And so I did play test this one and it functions. My Sim was able to make their meal just fine. Um, but yeah, over here I am cluttering up those shelves like I was talking about, just adding some different decorations from various different packs, but I think they all work together. And I tried to find ones that looked country and modern and trying to find like a combination of those. I don't know, I think I made it work, but like I said, I really kind of felt like we don't have a lot of great items for this. Like we have like some nice clutter pieces, but especially when it came to finding artwork, like, I don't know, some of the artwork that I used in here, like it, it works, but it's definitely not what I would want to use. Like we have this really cool painting that came from Seasons and it has like these different boards all pieced together in different sizes. You'll see me use it, I think once by the hallway in the downstairs bathroom and then once in the hallway on the second floor. I think I use it up there. I might not end up using it up there actually. I think it's just one time. But anyways, it has a scenery of a farm. It's super pretty, but the colors are so just bright and vibrant. And I think for a home like this, it's not like ideal. It works and it worked for that space, but I would have loved to see like maybe more of like a neutral farm. And I don't know, I just kind of struggled. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I said, maybe there was something that I was overlooking, but um. Anyways, something that I'm going to do in this build is layer a lot of rugs. I did this in the CC farmhouse that I did too, and I really have no particular reason for doing this. Like I didn't see this in any inspiration image, but I I watched some like decorating uh, YouTube channels and one of them that I watch is uh, Kristen McGowan and she layers rugs. She does a more like neutral kind of like boho traditional hybrid sort of interiors when she decorates her homes but she layers her rugs and I think it looks really pretty and I think her style it's not a modern farmhouse style but I I could see how maybe her style could go towards this decorating style I don't know let me know if you guys agree if you guys watch her channel I really I really enjoy her videos um but yeah I found this wall decoration it came from the high school years expansion pack so I just sized it down I wish that I could have found something maybe to mount it on I probably could have put some like wooden boards up here or something but I didn't think it was totally necessary and I didn't mind too much that it was really flat looking but I thought that the kind of like distressed sort of like country sign was perfect for this build so I ended up I think using one other one in this interior and that ended up working out so nicely and kind of saved me when trying to find items to decorate the walls with but um yeah I love the dining room the curtains came with the new desert Lux kit if you guys haven't heard of that kit yet I would be very surprised but if you haven't look it up download it for free it's completely free for like a whole month I think the last day it's free is October 17th so you guys have quite some time but there's really no need to wait because it's free and I think that's amazing and um, the items are so good so you'll see me using those curtains and the couches a lot I actually just did two more builds using those couches so I need to probably build something else <laughs> and maybe like stuff it in between these builds so they're not too repetitive but I really like the couches they're so neutral and just comfy looking and just I really like them uh, but anyways you may have noticed in the entryway that I used that wheel that I was talking about I end up using it again in here and then in the upstairs master bathroom so I think it's only three different times I don't think I'm forgetting another time that I used it but for me, like I said, I just thought it was like such a great um, decoration to put in this style of build. And it was rustic enough looking, but not overly rustic where I felt like it didn't work for the build. And it really brought in that sort of like rustic, chic, country farmhouse 
kind of look. I don't know, let me know if you guys agree, but I was super proud of thinking of that. And so I'm definitely gonna have to use that idea again if I ever do any more modern style farmhouses. Um, but yeah, over here is that extra room that I was talking about that's sort of like a skill building room. It's just a little, little extra bonus room basically. And so I put a fish tank in here, I put a computer desk, and then a chair, a plant, or maybe I don't end up including a chair. I think I was going to, but didn't quite have the room for it, so yeah. Not totally necessary, but I also placed a bookcase in here. And then the basket of like pillows and blankets that we got from Cottage Living, I also place in here. And then I also thought that those boards that we got from one of the holiday updates with the writing on it actually worked pretty nice. So there's a few other swatches with like reindeer and like evergreen trees. The evergreen trees I think are pretty easy to use in some interiors, but the one with writing on it is like so easy to use. And I was thinking it was some of those like wooden plaques that you might see in a house like this that say like, I don't know, something about like home is where the heart is or maybe live, laugh, love, or you know, one of those signs that you might see in this particular decorating style. So um, that's what I imagined it said. But anyways, over here is going to be the living room. So as you can see, I'm using the couches that came from the Desert Lux kit. And I just thought they were so nice and neutral. Maybe I could have used a couch from like another pack, but I liked, I liked these ones for this interior because they feel modern, but still kind of like cozy and comfortable with the little bit of pillow decoration that it has. I really hope that at some point we get more pillows to decorate because we did get um, with the, um, what is that called? The, I always struggle with the name of this kit, but it's the outdoor campers, little campers kit. Is it, is it little campers? I think it's little campers, but anyways, it came with this floor decoration that is a really nice pillow, but it looks more like a pillow that would go on a bed. Um, and the swatches are nice, they're super cute, but there's no just like plain white, brown, or just solid swatches, and I wish that it would have came with like two or three of them. There's also another pillow that you can find in the live edit objects that came with high school years, but it definitely looks like a pillow that you would find on a bed. I don't know, I haven't really tried to use it on a couch yet, but I definitely probably should at least try because maybe it'll look better than I think it would. So yeah, anyways, over here, I'm just adding some decorations to the fireplace. I also find decorations just to put around the room. Again, I was trying to keep it more simply decorated and not overly like stuffed with decorations, but it still feels like fully decorated. And I also really liked adding the little thing of wood next to the fireplace, as well as the, um, the little rack with like the fire poker and the little broom and shovel. And then I put that milk can next to it and I was thinking that this was definitely like a modern farmhouse thing to do is to use an old milk can as like uh, something to scoop the ashes into to take the ashes outside. And so that's what I imagine they used that for. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea too. And then here I felt like there needed to be something behind the couch. So I used this trunk that we have from base game and I used it in this white swatch. What I I think works perfect for the style. And then I just put some decorations up on top of it that I thought would look nice. I also used this decorative birdhouse and I sized it down and then dropped it down into the floor basically. And I wanted it to look like it was a little wooden birdhouse sitting on top of the trunk, like it was handmade by one of the sims that live here or something like that. And then over here to fill in the rest of the space of the living room, I just put a couple of bookcases and then that little wooden stool that we got from I think jungle adventure um, but I thought that looked really nice and then over here is where I find that painting that I was talking about that came from seasons that has the farm scene on it again I think it would work so perfectly if it had a more neutral swatch this one I think was the best swatch to use but it's still a little more like vibrant and I don't know, I always struggle using this particular painting. <laughs> Let me know if you guys agree. It's nice, I think the swatches and like the design of it's pretty, but for some reason I always struggle making it work. But I think here it actually worked pretty nicely. And then I was trying to find another thing to put on the wall over here, but I decided just to put two doors instead just to fill in the wall space because I knew I wasn't going to really find anything that I wanted to use. So um, that worked pretty nicely, but this is the downstairs bathroom. It's just a half bath, but you could easily put a shower or a tub or whatever in here because there's plenty of room to do that, but I didn't think it was totally necessary. So it's just a, a sink and a toilet. <laughs> and then of course, other decorations that I tried. Um, you know, I tried finding ones that I thought suited this style and I think I made it work. I also especially liked using those black 
like wall lights. Um, I think they came actually from the bowling stuff pack if I remember correctly, but I used them several different times uh, in this build and I just thought that they worked pretty nicely. And then over here is going to be that laundry room that I was talking about. This was one of my most favorite things to decorate in the whole build just because I think this is so just necessary and perfect for a build like this. And I really just tried to make it feel like, you know, Sims are like actively doing laundry in here every single day. They're coming in here with their muddy boots. And oh, I also used those muddy paw prints that we got from Cats and Dogs and I placed them to look like a dog had just came through the back door with muddy paws. And you know, so I just put them right over the, the mat and I thought that looked so good. And that's one of those items that I see every once in a while in the catalog and I try to remember or to remind myself to use it. And then I forget about it or when I do remember it, it doesn't like suit the particular build, but thankfully this time it suited the build. I remembered it and I just thought it was so perfect. Um, and then over here, I also added the parenthood board. I added a couple of coat racks and some shoes and just extra decorations and stuff like that, basically just to make it feel lived in and fully decorated like I was talking about. And since I added the paw prints, I decided to add a couple of food bowls over here. And then also the shelf with the like collar and dog leash and stuff hanging from it. And then I put a few decorations up on top of it. I didn't add anything for cats in this build, by the way, but you could easily put like a litter box or something in here or in the garage area or maybe one of the bathrooms and then that should be plenty uh, for the cat. I mean, of course you could have like a tree house or uh, not a tree house, but a cat tree and scratching posts and stuff like that. Um, there I just swapped out the rug that I had in the dining room because I realized that the one that I ended up using in the living room was the exact same one. So I didn't want it to be too repetitive. And then over here, I am decorating that garage slash barn area. And so basically I wanted this room to feel like fully decorated, but also I wanted it to be functional. I think the only interactive objects that I have in here are the trash cans and a woodworking table. Cause I do have a couple of flower arranging tables, but they're the non-functioning ones. They're just the decorative ones. Like this one, I think came from the blooming rooms kit. And then this one over here came from eco lifestyle. And this one is by far my favorite one, just because the details on it are so good. Like the like spilled, uh, planting mix and like the pots and like little decorations on it. The other one that I used is actually really cute too. Like I really like that metal watering can that's hanging from it and then like the hat and stuff. And I really enjoyed just going through the different decorations and finding things that would work in here. And I just, I don't know. Oh yeah, I also added this uh, carving station too. So you could carve some pumpkins too if you wanted to get it all ready for like uh, the harvest season basically. Um, I also thought about adding the juice making machine, whatever you call that, but it's so big. It's so big and bulky. I just never end up using basically any of those items just because they're, they're just so big and impossible to use. I wish that they weren't so big. I would use them a lot more and it's just kind of frustrating because I don't know, you could have made it work in here though. You could have got rid of the tractor and placed it or move things around. I could have made it work, but I just liked the way it was looking so much that I didn't want to change anything just to add that item. But if you um, are playing in this build and it's something that you really enjoy playing with, you could definitely make it work pretty easily, I think. But um, yeah, anyways, moving on to the second floor, I, yeah, I think I was going to add this painting up here, but I decided not to. I forget what I actually end up placing in its place. Maybe another one of these signs. Yeah, I use this sign instead. And I think, like I said, it works perfectly for a farmhouse look because it's like distressed and it looks like maybe one of those old like antique signs that you might have from like a store or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I just placed a couple of bookcases in here. A side table with a couple of decorations and then I also have this other part of a hallway that leads to the other bedrooms and the bathroom and so I just put a couple of decorations in there and then the first bedroom that I decorate is going to be the parents bedroom so like I was saying the parents I think they primarily do stuff on the farm but maybe one of them has a job outside of the house or maybe they both do but like I was saying the the farm stuff is it's hard work <laughs> like the cows and the plants and the chickens require a lot of attention like 24 7. <laughs> it's like they just become dirty and hungry so quickly um so i definitely think at least one of them spends the majority of their time taking care of the farm and maybe the other one does something else but if you guys have any ideas let me know uh but for their room i wanted to have a fireplace in here so i added this one that came from the eco lifestyle pack um, and then I also added a walk-in closet, this one that came from Get 
together. And then I also added this dresser that came from Cats and Dogs. I thought it was perfect for this style. And then I also added this really cool chair that we got from Eco Lifestyle because it looks like it was like handmade from like a burlap sack or something or maybe like a sack of potatoes or something and um so i thought that was perfect in here and then i just add some decorations up on top of the dresser and different decorations around the room just trying to make it feel fully decorated and like it matches the style of the rest of the house and like i said this style doesn't come that easily to me so i kind of struggled and i just spent a long time just trying to find things that work and that work for the style and I, I think I made it work <laughs> yeah as you can see I did spend a long time because this video is nearly an hour long and my CC one was over an hour long with the screenshots and everything it just these builds take a lot of time and I built this one on a smaller lot than I did the CC one hoping to save more time but really I think I saved myself maybe a half an hour at most <laughs> like I really just spent so much time but um anyways over here is going to be their ensuite bathroom again I use that wheel as a decoration on the wall and I just love their bathroom I love how it's open to the bedroom but it looks like you could close the door so it's not supposed to be one of those like really modern open looking bathrooms like I like to create um, but it still kind of has that feel and so I thought that was pretty perfect um, and then there's also a bathtub in here, a stand-up shower, a toilet sink, all of the necessary bathroom items. And I'm basically just using other decorations that I used from the downstairs bathroom and a few other things, of course, too. Like I end up adding these uh, little cabinets that I think came from laundry day, but I placed them over next to the toilet and I put two of them next to each other and I put some just like clutter on top of them. It's kind of like laundry clutter, but basically I just imagined it was uh, like storage cabinets with extra towels and linens and maybe extra soaps and whatever else the sims might want to keep in there of course they can't actually store anything in there but we can we can pretend and i just i love this bathroom i think it's just like so perfect for this style and taking the screenshots was fun too because you can see it from the bedroom and i always like when you can see into other spaces i don't know let me know if you guys agree if you guys create builds and you take screenshots of them do you like when you can see into like the the joining room through like an archway or an open door or something. I just absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite like parts about taking screenshots. Uh, but anyways, I'm immediately decorating the other bathroom upstairs. So this is the bathroom that the children would share and it's pretty similar. It just has the shower and tub combo instead of a separate shower and tub. <laughs> um, but it pretty much has the same other decorations. A few, few things are different, but I really, I um, feel like they're you know cohesive and go together and I really like how I used this white wood wallpaper I don't know what you would call this wallpaper necessarily but I thought it worked perfect for the bathrooms and uh, I, I don't think I used it anywhere else maybe it was just the bathrooms in the laundry room but I thought I thought it worked so good maybe I used it in the bedroom a little bit as an accent wall I can't remember Maybe I did, no, I don't think I did. I think I was going to, but I ended up not doing that. But anyways, over here is going to be the toddler's room. So this is the first kid's room that I decorate. And for the toddler's room, I was going for an animal theme basically um, and trying to make it feel neutral and kind of like it matches the rest of the build because I think that works for a toddler's room because of course the toddler didn't decorate the room, the parents did. And so I tried to just make it feel like it belonged in the house. And I tried to give it some personality with some you know, of the animal stuff and the different decorations. I was trying to not make it feel like the woodland bedroom that I just decorated recently for a toddler. I really loved that bedroom and I used some similar decorations in that room, but I was trying to make it feel like, you know, not a woodland bedroom, but I, it's still kind of similar, but I really liked that one. And it was um, a build that I did in the Copperdale world. If you guys didn't see it, it was like a rustic style family house, but I thought that toddler room was just so cute and one of probably the best ones I've ever made. So I was pretty happy about it. Um, but yeah, in here, there's a bookcase, um, a dollhouse, different decorations for the toddler basically um i don't know i i really like this toddler room i really like the plaid wallpaper too i thought that worked really nicely and then over here i end up adding another dresser i really like this one because it has like the little baskets with animals on it and i thought that was perfect for a more animal themed toddler room and i just love how neutral it is it just feels so like, cozy and comfy but anyways moving on to the other kids room so this one is going to be for the kid that it's more of a preteen. So I think they have just aged up from a child 
to a teen. And so if I were to give them like a real life age, I would say they're like 13 years old. So I tried to make it feel more like a little bit more kiddish, but not completely like a kid's room, like they're transitioning basically. So I thought this would be kind of fun if you're to do some gameplay and as they age up a little bit more through their teen life stage, you could add a little bit more decorations that are more appropriate for an older kid or an older teen rather and different things that might be useful for their skills and hobbies and stuff but I was thinking that this teen is really into reading and writing and kind of like fantasy stories so I added a couple of castles in here and those open books that we got from the whatever that kid is called the <laughs> The little campers kit, right? I think that's what it's called. I don't know why I struggle with that one so much, but um, I really like the book because it has a little like pop-ups and stuff, but it has, um, I think like the barefoot character in it. And it just looks like a magical sort of storybook, um, but it still feels very youthful and kiddish because it is a pop-up book. And so I thought that that was just one of the, this kid's like favorite stories. And even though they may have like grown out of it, like you know, way past the reading level for it. They still love it and keep it and like look at it all the time. And maybe it'll inspire like a future story that they write and they'll become a famous author for it. I don't know. Um, but I really enjoyed just finding different decorations for this room. And as you can see, the color scheme is mainly purple. I just think this is this teen's favorite color and they're obsessed with it and anything they ask for or anything that they buy themselves is purple basically. And so I thought that was kind of fun. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I enjoyed finding decorations that matched it. Um, but over here, I have a couple of dressers. I used this dresser that I think came from Parenthood, if I'm remembering correctly, but I've done this a few different times where I put two of them next to each other. And I think it looks really good because it looks more like one of those long sort of dressers that you would see in real life. And when you place them next to each other, they overlap a little bit. I mean, to make them look a little bit more seamless, I think that's the best way to do it. But sometimes when you do this with certain objects, there's lots of like clipping and stuff. But I think with these ones, the clipping really isn't that bad or really that noticeable. So it works pretty nicely in my opinion. I was also going to have this shelf above here and I ended up removing it just because I couldn't really find any small piece of artwork that I wanted to put above it. And I felt like it needed something just to give it some height. And I just, I couldn't really find anything. So I just get rid of the shelf completely. And then I put um, a piece of artwork that we have from some pack. I can't remember which pack it came with, but you'll see me place it here in just a little while. And then other than that, there's just some like posters around. I also added that really nice cart that I think came from the high school years pack, but it has some nice decorations. And then I used another one of those pop-up books on top of it just to sort of fill in the space and I don't know I thought that was so cute uh yeah over here is going to be the other kids room so this kid is actually a kid and I think they're in the middle of being a kid so they have a while to be a kid and they love like action figures and void critters and they like other things too but I was thinking for this kid like if um you know, somebody was to meet them in real life, they'd be like, oh, what do you like? And they'd be like, void critters. It's the only thing I like in this whole entire world. It's basically this kid's whole world. It's the only thing they think about. But when they start to maybe actually get probed a little bit more by their parents or somebody be like, oh yeah, I actually like other things too. I like, you know, fishing and I like, oh, I forget some of the other things I was thinking of while I was decorating this. I'm sure they will come to me as I pick out the different decorations, but they're like, oh yeah, I actually like other things, not just void critters too. Um, but for this room, I went for mostly a blue color scheme. There's a few pops of like red and other things in here, but mostly I just wanted it to be a fun room for a kid. So there's a toy box in here. There's the void critter game console on the ground. There's a bookcase. I used this dresser that I think came from Parenthood. Um, and I thought that looked good over here. And then I just added different like posters and uh, toys and decorations and stuff that I thought sort of suited this personality. And I just tried to make it feel like cluttered and decorated and more like chaotic than the rest of the house basically, because this is a kid's room and a kid has primarily decorated. Of course, like the parents have bought the furniture and stuff, but they've hung up their own posters and different decorations and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, I love kids' rooms. They're some of my favorite spaces to decorate. So I think this room just ends up being so cute. Oh yeah, movies, that was another thing. I think they love void critters, movies, and fishing. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cute. So yeah, I also end up including a fish tank in here. So they have like a little fish that they take care of. 
and then there's this desk over here and I added a few clutter items up on top of it of course lots of void critter cards I think that's what they are or maybe there's like the little games that you actually put into the game console I've never actually played with it before. I think I play tested it like once years ago, but other than that, I haven't touched it, but I think that's what they are. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know for sure. And then I also used this lamp with all of these stickers and stuff on it. I thought that was pretty perfect. I used another one in the other room as well, and I thought that was pretty fun. And then here I'm just adding some food for the fish. And then over here I have this little table and I put a frog and a couple of other decorations up on top of it. And I think this is basically it for the entire build. I'm just gonna add the final few decorations. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, it was a long one, so yeah. I really appreciate you guys watching this far and I hope you guys enjoy the screenshots. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye. Oh my love. You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all You know my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying Such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all You know my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed I'm trying